Life cycles, plant life cycles. Seed to seedling, come watch me grow. Bye bye. See you later. the pumpkins left in this garden. Yes, but the plants are all drying up and dying. They sure are. A, A talking, talking scarecrow? Yup, and I've been hanging around watching these plants grow for a long time. I'm sad to see them go, but before they started to die, they made something really important. They did? What did they make? Look inside that pumpkin over there, the one that's been cracked open. What do you see in it? Lots of pumpkin seeds. And look inside one of those bean pods over there. These look like lima beans. Yes. Lima beans are actually seeds that can be used to grow new lima bean plants. These seeds are the beginning of a new plant's life cycle. Life cycle? Right. A cycle is something that happens over and over again. Let's look at how a plant grows to understand life cycle. Most plants begin as a seed. The seed germinates. A seedling begins to grow. The seedling becomes a fully grown plant. It gets flowers. The flowers make more seeds. If those seeds start growing, the life cycle happens over again. So you see, a life cycle is the different parts of a living thing's life as it grows and changes, and they happen over and over again. Hmm, how does a seed make a plant grow? Let's look at the lima bean seeds again to see if we can figure that out. The beans have dried out, so now they're hard. The outside of the seed is called the seed coat. It protects the seed. If we put a seed in water, the seed will soak some of it in. It gets bigger, and the seed coat splits open. Now the seed coat comes off easily. If we carefully pull the seed apart, we can see a tiny plant inside. See the tiny leaves? And there is the root. Another name for the tiny plant is an embryo. The rest of the seed is food for the tiny plant to use when it starts to grow. When does the tiny plant in the seed start to grow? When it has everything it needs. Seeds need the right amount of water, the right temperature, and enough light and air to start growing. Some seeds can start to grow as soon as they come out of their fruit, like an avocado seed. Seeds from an orange or lemon can start to grow right away, too. Other seeds, like these seeds from a tomato, pumpkin, pea and sunflower need to dry out before they can start growing. Most seeds need a warm temperature, but some seeds, like seeds from a spruce tree, need to be very cold for a while before they can start to grow. And a few seeds need very hot temperatures.
The seeds from some types of pine trees grow only after being in the very high temperature of a forest fire. There are many different kinds of seeds, but they all have a tiny plant inside, just waiting until it has everything it needs to start growing. Seeds may have to wait for months or even years before everything is right for them to grow. Seeds from some plants are still able to grow after hundreds of years. Other seeds won't grow after just a few months. Well, it seems like a warm enough day. Do you want to see if one of these lima bean seeds will grow? Yeah. First, put the seed in a small container with a little bit of soil on top of it. Great. Now, water the soil. The wet soil will keep the seed wet so the water can soak into the seed. Come back and check it in a few days. We'll be back. A few days later. Wow. A little plant has sprouted. Sprouted? Well, that's what it's called when a seed breaks open and a new plant appears. The seed was able to germinate in the warm, wet soil. Germinate? It's from the word German that means sprout with eight at the end. Eight means to become. Germinate, to become a sprout. When a seed is planted in the soil, the first thing you see as it pushes its way out of the soil is a sprout. How did it do that? To see how it germinates, we need to see what is happening to the seed while it is under the soil. After the seed coat splits open, the root of the tiny plant starts growing down into the soil. Next, the stem with the tiny leaves grows up. The food part of the seed is also pushed out of the soil on the stem. In the sunlight, they turn green and look like leaves. They are actually called seed leaves. The little plant uses the food in the seed leaves to grow until it gets more leaves. Then the plant's leaves make the food it needs to grow. Another name for the sprout is a seedling. As the seedling grows, it makes more leaves and stems. The stems get thicker and stronger. It continues to get more leaves and roots as it becomes a full-grown plant. When most plants are full grown, they grow flowers. A plant that makes flowers is known as a flowering plant. Do you know why plants make flowers? No, I don't. Flowers make seeds. Look inside this lily. It's easier to see the parts that make the seeds in here. Seeds are made inside the petals at the center of the flower. The long pistil part inside the flower has several stamens around it. The tips of the stamen make a yellow powder called pollen. Before seeds can be made, some pollen must get moved to the sticky tip of the pistil, then to the center of the flower. This is called pollination. In some plants, the flower pollinates itself. It uses the pollen that is made right inside it. The flowers on this bean plant can do that. After pollination, seeds begin to grow in the center of the flower. The petals of the flower fall off, but you can see the part where the seeds grow, getting bigger, and becoming a bean pod. In science, the part of the plant that has the seeds in it is called the fruit. So this bean pod is a fruit. The fruit is important to plants because it holds the seeds that will grow into new plants. In a few weeks, this lima bean plant will dry up and die. Some of these seeds will germinate and grow into new bean plants that will have flowers and make more seeds. And the life cycle continues over and over again. That's amazing! Yes, I never knew that flowers made seeds. Look at that sunflower over there! It's really easy to see that the seeds grow in the center of that flower. Take out a seed and crack it open. 
the part that many people eat is actually the seed. The outside shell is really a dried fruit. Do you want to watch the life cycle of a sunflower plant? Sure! Do you remember what a seed needs to start growing? It needs the right temperature, enough light and air, and the right amount of water. Like the bean seed, the sunflower seed soaks up the water and swells until the seed coat breaks open. Now what's inside a seed? A tiny plant, also known as an embryo. Right. And do you remember what it is called when the tiny plant inside the seed begins to grow? Germinate? Right again. The root grows out of the split seed down into the soil. And the stem and leaves begin to grow up and push through the soil. And what is a plant called when it begins to start growing out of the ground? A sprout or a seedling. Good remembering. As the sunflower seedling grows, it makes more leaves and gets a very strong stem. It grows really tall as it becomes an adult plant. The adult sunflower plant grows some flower buds. As a bud opens up, you can see many yellow petals unfolding around the outside of the flower. The brown, fuzzy-looking center of the flower is actually hundreds of small flowers. Now, each of the little flowers need pollen so they can make a seed. But the sunflower can't use pollen from its own flower. It has to get pollen from another sunflower plant. How does the pollen get from one plant to another plant? There are, there are many ways for pollen to move to other plants. When insects, like bees, sip the sweet nectar from a flower, some of the pollen sticks to their body. When the bee flies to another flower, some of the pollen falls off the bee and sticks in that flower. Pollen can also stick to the beaks of birds, like hummingbirds, when they sip the nectar from flowers. The wind also blows pollen through the air to some plants. That's how corn plants get pollinated. In the sunflower, each little flower that gets pollinated makes a seed. And you know what can happen to those seeds. They can germinate, become a seedling, grow into an adult plant that gets flowers, and makes more seeds. The life cycle keeps going. I see how the seeds got into the sunflower, but how did they get inside this pumpkin? Let's see what happens in the life cycle of the pumpkin. The pumpkin seeds dry out. Like the other seeds, when they have the things they need, water, the right temperature, light, and air, they germinate. The tiny sprout pushes up through the soil and becomes a seedling. The seedling gets more leaves, a very long stem, and grows into a vine-type plant. It becomes an adult plant and grows brightly colored flowers. After the pumpkin flower is pollinated, seeds begin to grow. See how this part has become bigger? That's because it swells when it's making a fruit around the seeds. As the fruit grows, the flower petals dry up and the fruit keeps getting bigger. Now it looks like a little green pumpkin. The little green pumpkin gets bigger and bigger. After the green pumpkin gets fully grown, it turns to its bright orange color. Do you remember what the part of the plant that has the seeds in it is called? A fruit. Right. The pumpkin is a fruit. It protects the seeds inside. We can plant those seeds and begin another life cycle. Seeds, seedling, full-grown plant that flowers and makes more seeds. And that's the life cycle. Most fruit grows this way, 
even the fruit that grows on trees. Like these apples from that tree over there. Did you know that apples start their lives as flowers? Really? In the spring, the apple tree blooms with white flowers. The flowers must get pollen from another apple tree to make seeds down in the center of the flower. After the flower's petals fall off, it closes up. And you can see the beginning of a tiny apple. The apples grow all through the summer. And in the fall, they're ripe. Here's an apple from that tree. And we know what's inside it. Yes? Seeds! And what can these seeds do? Well, if it's the right temperature and there's enough light, air, and water, the tiny plant inside the seed might germinate, then become a seedling as it grows out of the ground. Right. And after many years of growing, it becomes an adult plant that gets flowers. The flowers then get pollinated, make seeds, and grow apples around them. And with those seeds, the life cycle can happen again. Does the apple tree die after it's made the apples? No. Some apple trees keep growing new apples for as long as 100 years. That's different from the bean, pumpkin, or sunflower plant. They dry up and die after their fruit is ripe. To have plants again the next year, new seeds have to grow. Do all plants make seeds with flowers? Well, most plants in the world have flowers and make seeds in them, but some plants make their seeds in cones. Cones? Yes! Now, you see that pine tree over there? It grows cones on it. Plants that grow cones are called conifers. In the spring, that pine tree makes two kinds of cones. The small cones make pollen, and the larger cones make seeds. Wind blows pollen from the small cones through the air. Some of the pollen gets on the larger cones and pollinates them. Seeds begin to grow inside the cones. When the weather gets dry, the brown woody scales of the cone open up and the seeds can fall out. If the conditions are right, the pine cone seeds can germinate and start growing. A seedling grows and keeps on growing until one day when the tree is big enough, it grows cones and makes more pine tree seeds. And those new seeds can start the cycle all over again. I noticed that seeds from the same kind of plant look alike, but seeds from different kinds of plants look different. Right! A seed can only grow into one kind of plant, the kind of plant that it came from. Wow! We have seen a lot of changes plants go through as they live and die. Yes, starting with a seed. The seed germinates, it becomes a fully grown plant, it gets flowers, and the flowers make more seeds. Someday the plant will die, but those seeds make it possible for other plants, like the one they came from, to grow. And that can happen over and over again. And do you know what all these changes are called? The life cycle! <coughs> for more great videos, call 1-800-483-3383. For 100% educational videos, or visit us online at schoolvideos.com.